So I really just want to start off with that sense of gratitude. Um, so let's kick it off. I was hoping we can just hear from these fine gentlemen. Um, maybe uh, just an intro of your name and a fun fact. I'll go with my fun fact. I went to LaGuardia, which is the same high school, if anyone's seen that movie. And my dream was to be a Broadway star. That did not come true, but how cool is it that I'm sitting right now here with them? So that's my Whoever wants to go first. Uh, hi, I'm Jeremy Davis. I play Olaf. Um, I am. Oh, I really like to cook. I, uh, I I got into cooking several years ago, and and I, I really love cooking. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dominic Dorset. Uh, I was pissed off tonight, and um, and every night, I guess. But also, I guess my fun fact would be, um, in addition to acting and whatnot, I'm an instrumentalist as well. So I'm a, a violinist and pianist and whatnot. How many instruments do you play? A lot, but I'll just say like over ten. But yeah, ten. Piano, violin, my man. Uh, I'm Will Savarese. I played Hans. Um, and a fun fact about me is that I did martial arts for twelve years in the black belt. It's the first time I've done that. Hi, I'm Jack Brewer. I was Oaken, and I was uh, other people too. Um, a fun fact about me, um, I'm really bad at thinking of fun facts, that's number one. Number two, um, I am the youngest of five siblings and my sister saw the show tonight for the first time. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, that, is, that makes me so happy, the family that does things together. I feel like we have a lot of families out here, right? I love that. So I guess we, we're going to start with you because like you said, you played multiple characters. I mean, can we talk about the opening of the second act and how beautiful that was? Um, so basically, what is it like portraying all of those different characters? Like, how do you just keep switching and make it so authentic? Yeah, um, I mean, you get whiplash sometimes. Because you really kind of have to do, like, o Oaken is one end of the spectrum, and, like, the bishop is the other end of the spectrum, who's supposed to be this, like, calming, stoic presence, and this father figure to Anna and Elsa. Oaken is not that. Um, so, I don't know, I, I guess it just comes with, with practice and, and training and acting school and figuring out how to just like step into someone's shoes and step out of them and just, I don't know, it, it just comes with lots of practice and lots of time. I love that so much, and I will say, it doesn't get any more ends of the spectrum than <laughs> the two characters, the main ones that you played tonight. Um, all right, we're gonna turn it over to Jeremy Davis, who I know from New York City. Um, he, you were the Olaf there as well, I remember. No, I was the understudy there. Okay, I uh, saw you. Did you? Yes. Wow. Yes, I, well, I, I know. Well, I mean, I, I went on a lot, but yeah, that's cool. I love that, it made me so happy. So we all remembered when Olaf came on stage, I'm sure we were all filled with so much joy. What is it like to portray a character that is just so near and dear to both Disney adults, which I'm a proud Disney adult, and or Disney anyone, just all the fans? It's it's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, a lot of my a lot of my job is sort of I have a, I have a head start on everything. Like I walk out on stage, and because I got that guy in front of me, and because you all are so familiar with it and love him so much. I, you already, I feel love from you already. That's just a really big head start that I have on, uh, on bringing you guys along and getting you to laugh with me. And, uh... Oh, look at this! Holy moly, we have a surprise guest! Hi! Hi! Uh, do you want to introduce him? Sure. Sorry, you, you were in the middle of the story. There's not much of a story. I'm Caroline Bowman, I played Elsa. Pretty cool. I love it, and it's awesome to feel that. Like to to stand on stage and to feel. I don't know how many people sit here, but but over thousands of people just to feel all that love rushing at you all at once is just amazing. I 
was told 3,000 seats in this mega theater. And Kansas also shared with me that this show travels every two weeks, that everything that you see here gets on a ton of trucks and heads out to a new place every two weeks, which I think is, I love that fantastic logistical stuff. All right, well, we're saving you for last because you're Elsa. Um, so Dominic, Hey. Amazing. Thank you. I mean, so so fantastic. So tell us about your background. You're a recent college graduate, which I think I is it. so cool. Did you grow up at Disney Town? I was, I did a lot of, had a lot of exposure to Disney stuff growing up. Um, I, I'll list off my Disney roles real quick, because that's kind of my background is in theaters. I started it as Michael Banks and Mary Poppins when I was, fourth grade, I think, and that was my very first musical ever, and um, I've, all, I've been, I've done Mary Poppins twice, I was Bert the other time I did it, and then I've done Tarzan, and Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Newsies, so I've, I've gotten my Disney rounds. Aladdin and Lion King, yet to come, but uh, I have a, I love Disney, and I just graduated from college this past May, um, Will, Will as well here, and it's been, it's been quite a, an adventurous roller coaster so far, in the best way possible. Congratulations, I guess, to both of you. You're a recent college graduation, right? That's so cool. All right, well, we're kicking it to you. I had the pleasure of seeing his Bert tap dance on video the other day, <laughs> and it was amazing, just so everybody knows. <laughs> I love it. You, you all must be such a family because you travel together, you're just together all the time. So I can, I can feel the love from here. Um, it's clear you came out, so that means you love it. I do. I can feel it. I can feel it. So, Will had me fooled. I mean, I thought they changed his character and he was like, gonna be really nice. Um, how did you make that happen? That about face? Tell us a bit about that. I, I think like during, I sort of have our director, Adrian Sarsborough, to thank for that a little bit because um, in, when, we were, when we were like preparing for this and rehearsing, I thought it was sort of going to be more towards that scene at the end and past that, where that's where the work would be, but he kind of more focused me on making the whole beginning part more. He was saying that if, if Hans is genuine in everything he's doing and makes everybody think he's so genuine, then the, the part at the end is, is like much easier to, like the words are there and um, it makes it a lot easier for the that, yeah, if that makes sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. I love it. It's basically moving backwards. That's an awesome acting technique. Um, all right, well, we are coming close to time, but our special guest, I don't even know what to ask you because it's just, you, you're you everything to us, right? I mean, you were, I'm, I'm a theater person. I grew up singing in New York City, community theater and all the theaters. You are just fantastically talented. Um, I think, Justin and Alina both caught me crying. That's why I didn't do a lot of mascara today. Um, so, just like Elsa, like how how does it feel to portray that character that is so impactful? Oh, oh. Like that, like that, like that. Um, I don't think we before I went on this journey of playing Elsa, I didn't realize exactly what she meant to people and exactly what she meant to me and. Um, I, I, I take it as a big responsibility and I don't take it lightly. Um, I think she means something to just about everybody, um, you know, because if you have something that in your life that, um, I don't know, has been holding you back or you feel like you need to release, I've, everybody has that, everybody, ha or maybe something about you that um, you might have been told was a little bit different or, or um, something that you had to, you have to keep like, close to inside and then um, that you couldn't be proud of and her journey of stepping into her own and I, the, the fact that I get to tell that story every day and it's made me a stronger woman um, and it's made me want to share more of my power in my life and she's Elsa has changed my life and I know she means a lot to little girls and little boys, and but I, I, I have spoken to a lot of adults at the stage door, and um, they've expressed to me what her song means to them, and 
what her journey means to people. It's just, it's, um, yes, it's a responsibility I don't take lightly, and I, every day I step out onto the stage and step into her shoes. Um, I try to live fully in the story and who she is, because it's, it, I, I have, again, the word responsibility is, is always what comes to mind, and um, it's a true dream come true really being up here with all these people and and I don't think I I think I get to live my childhood dreams every day playing this role and then um, it's a it's wasn't it wasn't a part of my childhood frozen it was a part of my adulthood and so I get to um, I get to make adult Elsa come to life and my life experience I get to put into my Elsa and show you, I don't know, make her unique in that way, so. Yeah, I love her. I love her a lot, I really love playing this role, so I hope you enjoyed the show tonight. You know, couldn't everyone feel the, like, the passion that everyone on the stage brought tonight? It felt like this was the first time they did the show. Um, I felt you, um, it was just everyone. You are each individually fantastic. And I think the beauty of Frozen is it teaches us to just be yourself, right? Be your authentic self and, and love who you are and, and that's it. And I think it's been a really hard, right? Past few years and to have this kind of joy theater that we can come to and, and just be together. Um, so we're grateful for you. We're grateful for you. We're just grateful all around. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Unless, unless you have any closing words of advice for your biggest Disney fans ever, myself included, um, we will give you a big round of applause or for Let it go. Yeah.